Hey, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, host Jan. Sorry I've not done a video for a day, but I've been moving apartment and I'm still in the old studio, freezing my ass off. <laughs> but soon, I'll have all the filming studio stuff in my new apartment and videos will be regular again. Everything's going to be awesome. So, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video, which is a match preview for the West Ham game in the Premier League. Can you see my breath? I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's cold. So yeah, in the Premier League at Stamford Bridge, Chelsea really are mega, mega favourites to win this. Obviously, Chelsea have just come out of that mental game against Valencia away in the Mestalla. I did a match review on it just after the game, so excuse me if I was a little emotional, but go check that out if you have not yet watched it. But this match preview is going to give you the lowdown for this London derby. Oh yeah, remember to subscribe to my sister channel, Yam Plays, where I'm doing Chelsea FIFA 20 career mode. No, FIFA 20 Chelsea career mode. It's loads of fun. I'm starting the second season where I'm doing transfers. I'm rebuilding Chelsea. I'm interacting with everyone in the comments and doing what you guys tell me to do. So click the link in the top of the description to subscribe to Yan Plays. And of course, please do subscribe to Football Therapy. Make sure you hit the bell notifications icon. Like the video, why not, eh? Anyway, let's get into the video. Right then, the malnourished ghoul that is Manuel is coming to Stamford Bridge, guys. <laughs> I had that one in my head and I thought it was really funny and I couldn't get out without laughing. West Ham are coming to Chelsea. It's a London derby. Chelsea are favourites. Up until the game against Manchester City away in the Etihad, Chelsea had won six in a row and they put in a decent performance against City. A few naive moments. A lot of Chelsea fans were quite frustrated with that game when really I feel like they needed to take a reality pill and just really see what's going on with the club and be happy that Chelsea are not getting beaten 6-0. Anyway, West Ham are a good side. They've got good players, but they've been dismal, man. They lost 3-0 last time out at Turf Moor, and they've got a guy in goal, Roberto, I think his name is. He's the worst goalkeeper I have ever seen, ever. But we're going to talk about all the personnel and all that stuff. Point being, they actually have good players, West Ham, and it should be a little bit spicy because it's a London derby, but Frank Lampard should proper fancy this game too because he got a lot of stick at uh, West Ham, coming through the ranks, going back there as a Chelsea player, you know, all that narrative. But really, if Chelsea want to impose their ability and dominance onto the Premier League, or, or indeed across all competitions still, they need to be winning this game, hopefully comfortably. Getting back on the winning horse in the Premier League. And all that with our ears, we say down in London. Well then, let's talk a little bit about how this game could go and open up that analysis screen. Namaste. Welcome to the analysis overlay. Right, let's talk about this game a little bit. Next to me, I've pulled up the lineup that West Ham put out last time uh, they played in the Premier League against Burnley at Turf Moor, where they indeed got slapped 3 0. Now, this is largely to do with their goalkeeper, Roberto, who is pony, like I've said in the video already. Now, it's rumoured that Fabianski will be fit for this game, and it's textbook that Chelsea come up against an opponent where a big returning player is coming back to fitness. Whenever it's Crystal Palace, Zaha has always been out for like weeks, but he's always fit to play Chelsea. Fabianski is one of the best goalkeepers in the league, genuinely, in comparison to Roberto, who's obviously on the other side of the spectrum. The malnourished school deployed the four boxes. Manuel Pellegrini deployed a 4-4-1-1 last time out in the Prem Prem with Sebastian Allaire, the big man up front, who's a player by the way, he's decent. So it's kind of like a compact system with a lot of good play through the middle, or it should be. They've got Noble and Rice in there who can do bits in terms of putting the graft in, in that loss against Burnley, those two are still trying their hardest, and Declan Rice put in a good performance actually. So looking at that lineup, you can see there's some decent performers in there, provided they have some cohesion and know what they're doing, rally together and essentially just don't get turned over and leave it up to the final line of defence which is Roberto in goal and if he's not, I mean he'll score you an own goal, he's good for an own goal every single game isn't he? So there's that. I think Manuel's job could be on the line here if he doesn't put in a performance or if Chelsea slap him about if you look at their run of form and who they've got on the roster, he's got to go, man. They had ambitions to, like, rock up into the top six, top seven for this season. And obviously, they're not doing that. I mean, you could argue loads of teams have that ambition. Watford, Everton, and look at those guys. Dreadful scenes for many clubs in the Premier League this season. So anyway, in terms of personnel, I do expect something similar from West Ham, but the big, big notable change would be Fabianski returning in net. Let's hope not. 
Right, let's switch over to a couple of Chelsea formations. Whoosh, whoosh. Right, now, I think Frank Lampard, he's at home. He's playing against the West Ham that have been a little bit bad. He's going to play his favoured formation 4-2-3-1, which will afford him the possibility or the probable possibility of starting Mason Mount in the number 10 role. Midfield will be rotated, so I'm not sure out of Kante, Kovacic and Jorginho who will be dropped. Probably be a fitness thing. Maybe after the emotional energy drain of Kovacic scoring a goal. Again, no ramifications. He might have a little rest, we'll have to see. Or maybe Jorginho, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see a deep pivot of both Kante and Kova. Even though, of course, we've seen Jorginho now playing good long passes. But we'll have to see. Hudson Odoi has been back in training after his injury, but whether he's ready to start in this game, I don't know. But I expect the two flanks to be occupied by either Willian and Pulisic, or Willian, Hudson Odoi, or Hudson Odoi, or Pulisic. One of those combinations. I do expect Tomori to come back into the starting lineup in the centre back partnership, probably with Zuma. We'll have to see. And really, the full backs, it will be Reese James and Aspi again, maybe, or. Emerson and Aspie on the back on the right hand side. Maybe James gets dropped because he is still getting sort of rotated into the team. And although he looks like Chelsea's best right back, he's still, you know, a young kid being rotated into the team. So he could quite comfortably be dropped and, you know, by the end of the season, still be Chelsea's first choice right back. Obviously, one of the big talking points of the Chelsea lineup is striker. When Tammy Abraham came off with an injury away in the Mestaya, it looked like dude had broken his ribs. I tweeted out, I said it in my match review. Like, it looks pretty bad, dude. Although it could have been really bad if he did crack some ribs, it, it isn't as bad as doing your ACL or Achilles in terms of footballing career problems. But apparently it's not as bad as initially feared, but for me, that doesn't necessarily mean he'll be ready to play just a few mere days later. So if that's the case, you'd either expect one of two of Batshuayi and Giroud. Now, the initial instinctive reaction would be he will go with Michi Batshuayi because that is his generally his second striker. Uh, he's probably done more training alongside him because he's probably closer to the player profile of Tammy Abraham than Olivier Giroud is. Still, Batshuayi's been frustrating of late. He's not been turning as well as he should be. A little bit clumsy at holding the ball up. An amazing finisher, amazing at getting the ball, turning and shooting. So maybe if you start him, he might get his goal. But a, a lot of the time when you start him in a big game and rely on him from the beginning, he frustrates. I reckon there's probably a lot of Chelsea fans that would like to see Giroud starting in this game, if that's the case. I've said it before, and I maintain the, or I subscribe to the concept of Giroud being an amazing player, a bit of a cult hero for Chelsea, but almost the antithesis of the football Frank Lampard wants to play. He can't really, just because of how his makeup, his player profile, he's just not the right thing for Frank Lampard's football. So maybe you change that for Giroud, maybe you do just keep him up front, bounce the ball off him, throw crosses into the box. Certainly, if Roberto's in goal, you just get Giroud to stand on him and just unsettle him. But it would take a level of pragmatism from Frank Lampard for him to change his style ever so slightly and start Giroud. But if Tammy Abraham indeed is still out, you'd imagine Michi Batshuayi would play. Right, we've talked about lineups a little bit. Let's get rid of the analysis screen and talk about the game a little bit more. Big game, right? London derby, Chelsea are favourites, they're at home. The onus would be on them to be on the front foot, hence me saying the 4 2 3 1 formation. It's a shame, really, because if Tammy indeed isn't playing in this game, but Mason Mount's been brought, brought back in to his preferred position in the number 10, that's where he does his best work with Tammy Abraham, you know, the way they combine. So I guess you can make an argument of if Tammy is out, Batshuayi plays, maybe he does play the same midfield as he did against City and uh, Valencia and just throw up to a big man in Giva or something. But still, Mason Mount, even if he's not combining with Tammy, he's still a really, really important part of the way this team plays and the way he progresses this ball from midfield into attack. He can combine with the wingers and the forward regardless. So how do I think this game will go? West Ham will be physical. They'll try and jump on Chelsea and they'll try and take their chances. Chelsea can't forget that the West Ham quality on the flanks and Felipe Anderson and the Yarmolenko is such, such high quality that if you let them get in their fight into the final third, into Chelsea's defensive third, get a chance to turn and pop a shot off, you know, Kepa's been a bit of a talking point recently in terms of, you know, amazing penalty saves. The odd really good save, but a lot of wobbly moments in between. The last thing you want is Yarmolenko curling one into the top corner and testing Kepa's reach, you know? So there is a lot of quality there. And if they can get in between the fullbacks, these sort of inverted forwards, then Chelsea can be in trouble. Really, it's about Chelsea keeping the ball and frustrating the opposition 
frustrating the likes of Felipe Anderson and Yarmolenko. And to be honest, Yarmolenko is such a talented player, but he doesn't like getting stuck in. Chelsea probably aren't that physical of a side, but that's why he was dominated by Burnley because he's, for as much of a technical footballer he is, he doesn't really want to have one laid on him. Yarmolenko is a bit more hard than he is, but still, both of them have got quality and will look to score goals. Chelsea have to retain possession, in my opinion, combine really well, and basically score goals from attacking combinations. I don't really see Chelsea doing much on the counter-attack in this game necessarily, but really they need to just have the onus to have the ball, but make it happen, you know, unlock the door. Mason Mount could be big for that. I'm gonna do a score prediction. I think Chelsea will concede because that's just what they do at the moment. But I also see them scoring goals in this. They're at home, Frank Lampard will have them raring to go. It's a London derby. Like I said, there'll be something in Frank Lampard's mind about West Ham and I think he might try and really Cheer up the players. I'm going to predict a 3-1 win to Chelsea in this London derby. What do you lot think? Get down in the comments below, give me your score predictions and explain how you think the game will go. If you've enjoyed the content today guys, please do like the video, subscribe, subscribe to Yan Plays the gaming channel and follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me you lot, you will enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, baby